uh, we'll go ahead and get started today. Uh, I'd like to take a moment first off to thank everyone for joining. Whether you're joining us live uh, in the webinar or you're watching after the fact, we're excited to have you with us uh, and to talk about infinite testing for Cognos and beyond. My name is Michael Hovar. I, am, uh, I have the this distinct honor of serving as the uh, lead for project, the, the project delivery practice here at PM Square. Uh, I'm joined today by Rolf Rober, who is the founder and CEO of Comita. Rolf joins us from Barcelona today. Welcome, Rolf. Hello, Michael. Great to be here, and thanks for, for joining. Thanks for having us here, and thanks for organizing this. Super excited to uh, show you uh, the latest in testing today. Absolutely, we're excited to have you. Uh, if you have a, a moment, um, we'd love to know where all of the attendees are joining from, so uh, feel free to type into the chat and let us know where you're calling in from. So as a delivery lead here at PM Square, I'm not the typical face that you would normally see on one of these technical discussions, but uh, I think I am uh, perhaps uniquely positioned to uh, to talk about the importance of testing uh, and the impact of, of testing on the success of uh, any particular project and, and a team as a whole. Uh, as a as a delivery uh, practitioner and uh, delivery lead, I've often had a front row seat uh, to see teams and or projects that have done testing very well, uh, as well as projects that have cut corners. And I've seen the, the positive and negative impacts that uh, uh, good testing or poor testing or lack, lack of testing uh, can have on, on the success of a project. Uh, I know that testing is often the, uh, the final afterthought that's put into a project plan, uh, aside from maybe uh, thorough documentation. Uh, and it's usually the first thing to be sacrificed when a project timeline is at risk. But on the flip side, it's also the first thing to be blamed uh, during that uncomfortable post-mortem when things haven't gone so well after a, a delivery. But uh, conventional testing um, can be cumbersome and tedious, and that's why it's oftentimes compressed or, or uh, um, passed entirely. Uh, it's um, oftentimes labor-intensive, and, and it, it takes up uh, time and resources that may be needed elsewhere. Um, so that's why we're excited to talk about Comita today. Um, go ahead and share my screen here. So uh, I'd like to start off first off by, before we get into the content of uh, today's pre presentation, I want to be sure that everyone on the call here is aware of an exciting offer that PM Square is uh, um, inviting you to. Uh, you see here details uh, on visiting pmsquare.com slash comita free trial, comita hyphen free hyphen trial. Uh, what's exciting about this offering is that it's not just a, uh, a free software trial, um, but in fact, PM Square is offering you uh, essentially a, a month of consultation where um, we don't just um, set you free on an application, but we partner with you. We uh, conduct an analysis of your testing practices. We advise you uh, on how you might be able to improve those practices and how Comita might, might uh, best serve you in that. Uh, and then help you with with cut over if and if and when you decide to um, to deploy Comita at your uh, organization. So uh, definitely jot down that URL. Um, perhaps someone could toss it into the chat as well, uh, or if you're watching after the fact, I'm sure it'll be in the uh, the, the notes as well. So um, definitely take advantage of that. We will remind you again at the end what the URL is. Um, but uh, we'd like to have you uh, partner with us in that way. So real quick agenda on what we're discussing today. Uh, we will um, first off talk about why you should care about testing. Um, I, I mentioned a little bit previously. I don't think uh, for most of those on the call, um, it will be much of a surprise as to why testing is valuable. But we're going to talk a bit about some of our observations uh, with testing. And then we'll have a chance to talk to Rolf, uh, have him share about his experience with Comita, uh, why he developed it, and uh, then um, perhaps the most exciting part, give us a live demo of how Comito works. Uh, we will have some time for Q&A afterwards. So um, if you have uh, any questions throughout the course of the webinar, uh, do uh, type them into the, uh, the chat um, or submit them as a question. We'd love for this to be interactive. And uh, as we get toward the end here, we'll, we'll have time for that. So first off, why is testing so important? Um, and to kind of summarize, uh, the concept of why we, we feel like testing, uh, thorough testing is valuable. It all comes down to um, better performance in your uh, your delivery practice, your development practice, excuse me. So uh, we see the business world, the development world broken down into elite performers and low performers. 
And what really differentiates them, um, we see these three kind of metrics, uh, failure rate, uh, the, uh, which is the rate of failure upon deployment, time it takes to recover uh, if there is a failure upon deployment. Uh, and then all of that um, is kind of um, fed into the frequency uh, with which the department deploys. So you see that low performers tend to uh, fail in their deployments, meaning that they, they hit some sort of critical error or issue upon deployment 50% uh, of the time or greater. Uh, it can take uh, a week or more to actually recover from a deployment of, uh, that involves an error or an issue. And because of that, departments don't want to deploy frequently. And so they end up deploying um, maybe once a month or maybe less frequently than that. Whereas elite performers, uh, we find have a failure rate of 7.5% uh, or less. Uh, when they do have a failure, they, they can recover within an hour because they know uh, where to find the issue. They know uh, how to correct it uh, due to, th to thorough testing and uh, they, can, they can recover from that very quickly. And um, all of that leads then to uh, rapid deployments. Um, some organizations that are considered elite performers, they, they deploy more than once a day uh, due to the, the um, ability to test quickly uh, and thoroughly. And of course, uh, Comita is uh, a great way to be able to, um, to conduct that testing very quickly and thoroughly. Uh, one of the um, great success stories of Comita is um, one of the, the largest partners uh, that we've had uh, being Mercedes-Benz. Uh, with uh, uh, Comita's implementation at Mercedes-Benz, they were able to reduce costs by 25% and increase test coverage by 80%. Uh, one of the, um, the team members there uh, stated, before I got to know Comita, I could not imagine how easily it can be to automate tests with, without in-depth programming knowledge. So Comita itself, and, and Ralph will talk a bit about this, but Comita is a, a no-code solution uh, or I think he he often refers to it as a low-code solution because you can in fact uh, implement code if you desire, but the uh, the uh, UI to uh, create a testing pattern is is uh, incredibly simple and straightforward and doesn't actually involve any any coding knowledge whatsoever. So with that said, um, I'd like to uh, um, pause in the presentation here and uh, get to know Rolf a little bit better and hear about Comita. Welcome, Rolf, again, and thanks for joining us today. Hi, Michael. Great, great introduction that you have given. You actually focused on the key points of Comita. Really nice. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself first off? Yeah, I'm, uh, well, my name is Ralph and I'm uh, CEO of, um, of Comita Rocks and uh, my home base is actually in Barcelona. I am IBM champion for, uh, it's on the other side, IBM champion. Uh, and uh, one of 200, I can only recommend that to go into that uh, program. And um, congratulations on that, by the way. Thank you, thank you. And uh, well, we are also uh, a little bit proud that our small team, we're a small IT boutique, I would say. <clears throat> and uh, we are actually running the world's biggest Cognos installation on premise for. Mercedes-Benz in Stuttgart, and Michael, you can imagine, with such a small team, you cannot do that without automation. So we have everything automated, and uh, for the test automation, we are here today. Fantastic. So um, I have a few questions for you. Um, if we could um, just go through a few, um, mm -hmm. get some responses from you. First off, what, what is Comita? Can you explain the application to us? Um, there's a technical explication and a non-technical. Our designer always says Comita is a time machine because it's, uh, it frees you from manual repeating tests yeah, and gives you the time to use it better, more wisely, more effective for, the, uh, for, for other stuff. Yeah. Technically spoken, it is, um, it is a complete testing platform that runs browsers. What Ever you want 2,000 and more browser types we have on the platform, headless, and automates manual uh, steps on, on websites. Yeah? And it's especially great for IBM Cognos because we have over 20 pre-built steps that, that really, really ease testing there. Okay. Can you tell us a bit about what went into the development of Comita? 
Well, we started in 2016 when um, IBM actually announced that they would uh, deploy IBM Cognos in every three months. And then the business department where we were running this really, really huge uh, Cognos instance uh, also say, how do we, Ralph, how do we have to test every three months the whole system now? And I said, well, let's see, let's see. Yeah. So they asked me for a proof of concept for um, browser automation. and I ran that against uh, the the Cognos machine, showed that, uh, showcased that to them, and then they were on fire. Yeah, they wanted to have that running on their Cognos machines. So this is where we started. The um, efforts in the product are around 5,000 hours of programming. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, so here's the money question: Why is Comita the right solution to automate? your testing or any organization's testing? Um, <clears throat> well, Comida's um, biggest benefit over other testing solution is that you can automate your manual tests yeah, 10 times faster than in uh, any other solution. Yeah, This is one. So you get immediate return on, on investment. This is what we saw at, the, at Mercedes-Benz. Apart from that, it is really, really easy to use. And that makes people just Ah, smile, yeah, where they, uh, before before using Kumida, they were fighting with uh, those big uh, test automation suites like Runorex or Testem and and just couldn't get it up and running. And with Kumida, it was just like a blink of an eye and, and here we go. Well. Okay, so um, what specifically makes, makes Kumida different? Uh, what makes it stand out from the other testing applications then? What really stands out is IBM Cognos testing. Yeah, we've been doing this uh, for years, and um, there's no other test solution on the planet right now that has so many pre-built steps that make testing easy for an IBM Cognos platform. Okay, very interesting. Uh, I think you'll have some more to, to show on that uh, when we get to the demo yes. portion. Yes, yes, yes. So. Um, we heard a little bit about the development of Comida. Who was your first major client and what was the problem that they were seeking to solve? Well, it's uh, as, as I mentioned before, Mercedes, and uh, they had this issue testing every three months, uh, repeatedly, that just uh, was not feasible. So we developed the solution and after uh, two years of development, we went into production and then the sister department actually uh, heard about it that was uh, Cornelia, which you uh, introduced earlier. And she had a three year journey of frustration of test automation uh, behind her. Yeah, She tried uh, Runrec, she tried Testimio, she tried to outsource the testing, yeah, which actually ended up in uh, sending word files with screenshots via email. So they outsourced that and they got back a 600 pager in, in word format where they had to scan the, the word for the screenshots and, and the errors. Incredible, just incredible. And when she learned uh, Kumita, she asked me uh, in December um, one and a half, two years ago, she asked me, can I, can I try? And I said, yeah, come over, do a quick onboarding, 15 minutes. Well, at least, last it was uh, half an hour, but um, two hours later, she called me, happy, happy, Ralph, I did it. First test case automated. Yeah, and this was the um, moment where I thought, uh, well, if, if that is so easy and also helps her, why shouldn't we help other people also? Eh? That's fantastic. Yeah, I've, I've experienced some of those side-by-side uh, -side Word documents firsthand. It's not a fun way to test, for sure. Uh, so why did they choose Comita? Um, because it's easy to use. Um, it's um, in, in Starting point, it is uh, no code, yeah, and it's not a buzzword. Yeah, you will see that in a minute. And but it also offers the the uh, possibility to uh, code inside your test cases. Yeah, if you need complexer logical uh, function functionality, you can do that. So it doesn't cut you off as a developer, but it embraces both of them. It embraces business department with no code. It embraces low code, so Connie can test and, and automate functionality, and it embraces also developers. Yeah. 
Okay, got it. Yeah, one of the things that, that uh, really excites me about Comita is exactly how flexible it is, and I'm excited to see you demonstrate that. So mm -hmm. how has Comita changed some things for, uh, for Mercedes-Benz? We saw some of the, the big numbers uh, that we showed up on screen, but how have things changed for that department? Ah, wonderful. Um, they, they automated um, a cube, yeah, a cube uh, reporting yeah, that was running for eight years in production. And they found after eight years, because nobody ever, that's a cube with over 25 dimensions, yeah, nobody ever looked up all the, the cube dimensions and compared that to the data entry system. Yeah? In one cube dimension, there are 90 delivery centers or something like that. They just scanned it and made screenshots of, of the first part, but didn't see that there were actually uh, things missing. Yeah? So they are now confident that each night when the ETL loads the data into the data warehouse and they build the, the, the new cube on top, that at uh, uh, business time, the data will be 100% correct. And that's, uh, they, they have never seen that before. That's outstanding. Uh, very exciting results. Okay, well, that's all I have in terms of uh, questions for you, Rolf. Uh, I understand you okay. have something to demo for us. Is that correct? Yes, super excited, super excited. Let's see if I find the sharing button. So to start off, um, the idea, uh, what do we want to test? is um, we want to um, go to the um, IBM Cognos Cloud and then test for the execution of one report. Execute that, for example, we have this uh, in the samples, there's this uh, cus customer uh, churn rate, uh, it's called churn, churn information by zip code. So we, um, my idea is to test this report, yeah, click on it, uh, execute it, uh, see that it's running, um, compare the screens against the previous run, and here we see an error. This is nice, the cloud is, oh, okay, here we go. So that is the idea, and then we will switch the environment. We will go from that cloud setup to the to another cloud setup that could be staging or this could be development and then we switch to production so just to mimic a little bit the uh, testing yeah okay so this is Kumida um, do you want to uh, stop the time how 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 long I will uh, take to automate this yeah running ready okay let's go so Okay, great. So we open uh, this button, create new feature, select the uh, PM Square department and say, this is our first, um, first report test. Uh, we will automatically um, record a video. We have a big browser selection here. I will select the 98 browser of Chrome just for development. And then I can add steps to my test plan. So from empty, and then I have this super handy uh, stuff. This is just like Googling, yeah? So we ha actually have over, over 70, uh, around 80 steps here, yeah? But it's just like Google, uh, just say, okay, let's run a feature that is called uh, CA, Cognos Analytics Cloud Login, yeah? So this, Feature actually handles all the login we have to do. And then we say, let's search for, search for uh, something in IBM Cognos. And we wanna search for the customer churn in for information. Of course, if I put a typo in here, um, the test case of course will fail, yeah. And, uh, so we have to be sure customer churn information. I just confirmed that with the uh, other. So customer churn information, that is good. And then add a step and say, how long does the, the report run? Maybe five seconds. So on the way, we take some screenshots in order to compare it. This is what we wanted to do, to visually compare one side against the other. And we hit the create button. Feature successfully created. Um, there's nothing here yet, so we hit the blue run button. 
And I think in a few seconds, you can stop the uh, clock, Michael. I hope so. Let's see if we get through the um, testing uh, without errors, because uh, when I was testing between the cloud environments, um, they, they behave different. Yeah, One is in the US and the other one is in Europe, and they definitely behave different. But you can already see we have all the screenshots here. Um, it hit the uh, cookie consent button. Um, it also ran the report. Yeah. So um, how long how long did it take me? I got about 125 seconds, start to finish. I 125 seconds. Wow. Wow. Okay. So let's. Uh, Let's show you a little bit more about the testing. So um, the browser selection, this is so cool. Yeah. If you want to test this in parallel, of course, no problem. We'll just do it. If you want to test it on Android devices, yeah, why not? This is something about test management. Yeah, of course, the screen sizes will shrink. And um, the, the test navigation on, on Cognos Portal is completely different. And testing Cognos on mobile is, I think, it's not a very good good idea. Yeah, but um, this is what testing, what the title of the webinar is about. It's Comida is super special, really, really cool with uh, IBM Cognos, but it goes beyond. Yeah, and this is uh, part, part of that. So you can select um, browsers in parallel. I just do that. Uh, hit the save button and run that again. In the background, it spins up all the browsers and maybe the Edge browser will fail because it's not supported anymore. But that is something that you can test in parallel. Now do that manually. Spin up a browser, spin up your Edge, spin up your Firefox. Huh? That's, that's kind of uh, difficult. The other cool thing is um, the video. Yeah, with each recording, with each run, we have a video of what was going on. And I will just make that bigger. Um, so it locks on to the IBM Cloud uh, connection. We see uh, the cookie consent button that I was talking about earlier, which has to be accepted. And this video, I can actually download this video and send this video then to my development team or to the business team and say, hey, we have developed this feature. And we tested it already, and it works. Yeah, and this is the uh, video, the the confirmation of for that. Yeah. So that's one thing. And then, if we go inside, we have details of every step. And if we have more than one run, we will also see the screen comparisons. Yeah. So in the running in the background, we will have uh, screen differences. I think that I can show you. So here we go. We see a pixel difference. Uh, we see that almost all tests ran quite successfully. Microsoft Edge had a failure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We expected that. And we will now look at the pixel difference. So in Chrome 98, we have a pixel difference. Let's see where it is. So we have some here, 14,000. And let's see here. Uh, no, all good, all very good. So let's go again, 14,000, see the pixel difference normally, yeah, this is timing. Yeah, if we see this, it is still loading. Yeah, and this is something that Comida as it is so fast, you, for exact uh, comparison, you have to set the screenshot on a stable, on a, on a stable um, screen where no animations are running anymore, yeah. Apart from that, you can, uh, see the logs of the execution so you can write go right deep deep dive into the execution and uh, you can schedule very easy so if you want to run this report every let's say uh, we have to enable it if we want to run it every 15 minutes every two hours or every hour we just uh, go save and now it's scheduled it will be running every um, every 15 minutes. And I did that already with uh, some other tests on cloud. So this one is the one we just uh, scheduled. You saw that. And I scheduled another one, this one, uh, which is actually executing right 
um, um, the, the very same report and I scheduled it to run every 10 minutes. And we actually see that over last night, um, we had some failures and then we can go into there. We, we see them here fail and we see uh, the video recording is there and we see it is just loading. Yeah, there was a database error where, or some, some database problem where the uh, spinner just kept uh, turning. Yeah, and how would you, Michael, how would you find out uh, such stuff that is uh, happening sometimes? You see that it's just happening sometimes. You could also look at the other errors. There were also JavaScript errors in there and it's just happening sometimes. Yeah, so that would never, never ever would you find those uh, problems in, in manual tests. So. so, should I show more? Did I did I miss anything, Michael? No, that's really incredible. Um, I, I love seeing this tool in action. It's so easy to use. Like like yeah. you mentioned, I mean, there's it's uh, um, really truly replacing uh, hands to the keyboard level of analysis without actually yeah. having the requirement of having someone uh, saying yeah. they're running these reports manually. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to show you, um, apart from the video, there's also this uh, PDF summary. So um, you can store that and file that away for documentation purpose. Yeah. And then there are those huge um, number of um, IBM steps that are in the product, as I said before. So we have IBM search for something. I showed you that. I can go to Cognos folder. How many reports are in the current folder? I can test the current folder. Uh, this is the the cube dimension testing, the last one here in the list um, that that Cornelia is so happy with. Uh, we also have all those legacy testing tools for Query Studio. If somebody still uses it, uh, Cornelia can run on that also. Yeah, and um, yeah. So we missed we missed another thing. We didn't switch the environment, did we? Do you want to show that? To test? Yeah, we wanted to switch from from development to um, to stage. So we were testing on default. I just have to go back to the um, to the other report. <clears throat> oh boy, oh boy. So let's see. So let me just start that schedule. Well, moment and see this one so this is our test this was our test and we want to switch the environment yeah so up here i have the the environment selector and i can switch to production i can switch to uh, test or switch to stage and what will happen is that those environment variables change yeah so on default yeah, I have this uh, this uh, CA uh, Cognos URL, which uh, goes to some some Cognos server in Germany. And if I switch this to test, then it will go to the US analytics. Yeah, and I just hit save. That's it. That was all I had to do. You just deselect some browsers for the ease of the testing and speed of testing. So save and run it again. And now it's not running anymore against the, the uh, uh, Cognos Cloud setup in Europe. It's running against the Cognos Cloud setup in the States. What do you think? That's really cool. Uh, Very cool. <laughs> Very easy to use, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, the fun stuff about this is it also takes the screenshots and compares the screenshot from the baseline from the first test against the new instance. So you can over system overlapping, you can actually compare the screenshots. Yeah. Okay, so demo time over. I hope you like Fantastic. it. Huh? Yes, very much so. Uh, one question that came in, Ralph. Um, yeah. Uh, someone is asking, uh, how easy is it to test reports that require parameters uh, or reports that have drill-throughs? Uh, 
drills for drill throughs we don't have a function yet but um uh, test folder this the the keyword is folder i can test current ibm cognos folder using parameters yeah and we can use either parameters from above here or what connie normally does um, she goes to her legacy um i can just show you that uh, do i have the i think i have it here yeah so um so report folder i i showed you that and this is a test from connie where she goes to her legacy system collects data from the the, the legacy system um searches here for the parameters that she wants to test in ibm cognos for example all those um different lines and 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 periods and stuff like that and i will just fast forward this here she goes into into ibm cognos and starts testing the the cube with the parameters that she found before you see the the, the speed of this Yeah, and it tests all the all the parameters through. And the the um, test step that she uses is um, I can test uh, IBM Cognos Cube Dimension to contain all values from list uh, with uh, some variables. So really, really easy, Michael. Wow. So you can you can test uh, a vast number of permutations of a report then that way. Yeah. 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 Sure. And uh, what's not tested yet is the uh, drill through, but um, we would be happy, and it's really easy um, to do so to uh, help you around with that. Okay, fantastic. Uh, let's see other questions that have come in. Uh, where else or how else has, has Comita been used successfully outside of Cognos for testing? Uh, we have tested, for example, cal.com. Uh, Cal.com is a scheduling um, uh, infrastructure company that's open source, the open source alternative to um, Calendly. Uh, that is one, a very small company. And uh, apart from that, within Mercedes, we're ultimately receiving a lot of requests from, from different departments. Um, the, the voice is spreading inside Mercedes. Yeah, and um, they're testing on on SAP, they're testing on ServiceNow, they're testing on, on homegrown applications, and, and all of them, Michael, it's the same, yeah? They come from a very frustrative um, uh, experience, yeah? Start testing, start testing Kumida, and then when they call, when, when we have the next call for, um, for a wrap up of their experience, I see big smiles uh, in, the, in the conference. It's, it's repeating. Uh, over and over again. So that's great. So the the cool takeaway for that um, that uh, question for me is, um, you know, if you're if you're investing in Comita, um, decide to roll it out in your organization, you are getting something that is um, natively developed for Cognos functionality, but um, far from limited to testing on Cognos exclusively. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the way. Yeah. And what's what we saw, for example, um, when we tested the the CA cloud, that the um, Google rolled out the la latest version of Chrome. Uh, I think this weekend they upgraded to version 100, and we actually found a lot of JavaScript errors uh, executing on the on the um, CA cloud. So there is something that a big benefit that you don't have to worry about new and beta versions that are rolling into the market. You can test your product, you can test your application, you can test IBM Cognos with the beta version before you roll them out onto your desktop computers in your enterprise. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's some exciting functionality. Um, Martin, one of our attendees just mentioned that they are actually planning on uh, uh, testing uh, Comida with SAP uh, in the near future, so that's exciting. Uh, another question that we got in, um, is Comita capable of testing mobile applications? Uh, yes and no. We have hybrid applications that are um, 
mobile friendly. Actually, Kumida, I can show you that. It's, oh no, ah, you're presenting. Um, Kumida is actually also hybrid, so you can use it on mobile as well as on uh, desktop, and it scales. Yeah, it's a hybrid web application, but it is and stays a web application. So if what you want to test on mobile is a web application, yes, we can test that. If you want to test a native app or a gaming app or um, a stock app, a native app on your phone, that is something that Kumita cannot test. Okay, got it. Um, so uh, lastly, I have a kind of a personal question. So I, I noticed, uh, you know, as you're demoing Comita that you were able to select different different combinations of browsers and devices and things of that nature. Um, so if you were to select everything, um, say just have Comita uh, run as many possible tests as you can with as many combinations as you can, about how many combinations would you get out of that? Oh, uh, we provide around 2,500 browser types. That's browser amazing. Types and, and, and screen types and, de and devices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. That's really cool. Uh, okay. Um, I don't see any other questions coming in. So um, I think we can probably wrap up there. We're just at, at about time anyway. So uh, thank you so much for joining us, Ralph. I really appreciate the demo. Um, we're excited to, uh, to share this. Um, with uh, with our community. Uh, we're excited to meet with those who uh, visit the page and, and sign up for the free trial. Um, look forward to uh, to showing you all the cool things that Comita can do. Yeah, thank, thank you, Michael. I hope that uh, somebody picks that up and actually goes for the Comita free trial. Um, it's still on the screen, pmsquare.com slash Comita dash free dash trial. And uh, we hope to rock your uh, testing experience together with uh, PM Square.